Congratulations on the purchase of your XT16HR East West. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to set up the electrical and the kitchen and then pack it away for ready for travel. In terms of electricals for basic camping, which is supplying 12 volt power to the caravan and controlling the main circuits throughout the caravan, are all here behind this panel above the fridge. When setting up, all your power outlets are here, so you need to turn on the main switch. Now if you're leaving home and you're running a fridge on your way to your camping destination, you must have this on and the fridge switch on as well. If you're running a fridge in the forward boot, you need to have this on as well when you leave home so everything's running fresh and cool when you get to your campsite. Once you're arrived and you're set up, before you run the hot water system or run any of the taps, you need to have the water pump and gauge switch on. And for the hot water, you need to have the hot water switch on as well. For running your diesel heater, you need to have that circuit switched on. And there's also a spare circuit switch at the end of the panel. Setting up the kitchen, you'll need to retrieve this, the kitchen support leg. So grab that out of the storage boot, then open up the hatch. On the front of the kitchen, there is a pad bolt here. To undo the pad bolt, turn it to that position with the black knob forward, lift it, and then turn it 90 degrees, and the little pin there will hold it up out of the way so it can't catch when you open or close it. Then, press down the blue tab on the slide and pull the kitchen all the way out. On this kitchen, the water is permanently plumb, so the hoses are continually connected. So the only hoses we need to connect up is the gas hose. Prior to that, undo the little bungees on either side of the fold out tray. Flip that over and it also gives us a windshield here on the side. To set up the windshield, you need to pay attention to how you do it. There's two tabs that sit in little slots here to keep it in place when it's packed up. So to set it up, slide it away from you towards the end of the kitchen, lift it up, and then it drops down into two slots again to hold it in place there. Now we can set up our dish rack. To do that, we undo the rubber bungee at the front and lift the rack up into place. On either side, there is a pin. So when you get your dish rack up, there's little knobs on the side of each on each side of the rack and what you do is you turn them and they'll pop into place. To undo them, pull it back and turn it and it locks out of the way. So we get those locked in, then we can lower our racks, which there's a little bar on the side. So to put the rack down into place, pull the little lever out, the rack will fall in and the pin will go into a little slot here on the rack to hold it in place. Do that with both. Now they're set up ready to use. Lift up your sink, tap there, that's up ready to go. There's also a drain hose to go on the sink waste. You can plug that in underneath and run it into a bucket to collect the water. Now to set up the gas, open up this little hatch here and you'll find the gas bayonet hose. What you can do is you can pop that out through the hole, the relief underneath the sink, pull it through. Then we can connect it into the bayonet receiver here. To do that, line up the little slots on it with the slots on the receiver, push it in and turn it to the right. Now the gas is connected. Now when you do this, you want to do this before you actually turn your gas bottles on. Because if there's pressure at that bayonet receiver, it will make it a little bit more difficult to plug in. Now our kitchen's ready to go, we can start cooking. When packing up, what you need to do is consider what items you want to run while you're traveling. If you've got items in the fridge, either here inside or in the fridge from the exterior hatch, what you need to do is work out whether you want them running while you're traveling. The controls we have contained in this box are the main isolator switch. This main isolator switch will turn off the 12 volt systems in their entirety. Also, we have the circuit breakers across the top here. Each one is labeled with which circuit they protect. You have the voltage readout 
amps read out here and the main switches for each circuit. When you're running your fridge, when you want to keep traveling, switch on the fridge. That will operate the toilet lights, the toilet and this refrigerator. If you want to run the fridge in the forward boot, you need to have the DC outlet switch on as well. All other switches can remain off and the main isolator switch must be on. To pack up the kitchen, first we start by folding the tap down out of the way. Then grab the little bar on the right hand side, push the rack up and let the pin slot back in and hold it in place. Just like that. Then release the twist pins either side and you can lower the rack down and put the bungee back on. While we're here, we'll disconnect the gas, push it in, turn it to the left, then open up our little door here and we can pull the hose back up Now the hose is stored and out of the way. To fold up our windshield, remember, lift it up, then lay it over, then pull it back towards you so it slots into its little captive slots either side. Now we can fold up our extension tray, put the bungee cords back on either side. It's important to put these on so nothing rattles around while you're traveling. Then remove the kitchen leg. With that out of the way, it's just a matter of pressing down the blue tab on the slide and we can push the kitchen back into its spot. Once it's in, remember to return the pad bolt to its lock position down. So twist it back, push it down so it lands in its slot and there's even room beside the kitchen to store the kitchen leg. Close up the hatch. That's it, kitchen all packed up and done. When you're packing up ready to go and you wanna shut down your Truma hot water system, you need to switch it off at the main switch, turn off the gas and then return the flue to its original state. The chamfered end goes at the bottom, push it on and it clips into place. Then you can shut the MDC dust cover over the top. All done, ready for travel. And that folks covers the setup and pack up of your kitchen and electricals.